And with that, let me introduce tonight's main attraction, Lukas Gotta from Mythical. Um, and it's our anniversary. So Lukas was in Berlin uh, during our one of our last in-person events um, and presented his new company. Back then, you were quite brand new, uh, Mythical. Uh, and now it's one year later. And they had quite an, and he has quite an amazing story to tell, an amazing product, but also an amazing company that has developed and grown by leaps and bounds. So without further ado, over to you, Lucas, um, and your presentation. And one, one additional information, we have questions for you. So uh, Lucas will give me a sign when, once he starts his presentation, and then I will start a poll. Please answer the questions. So see you on the other side and I will just disappear. Great, Jörg. Thank you so much for the introduction. And uh, yes, as, as you have said, uh, last year, uh, about the same time, I uh, uh, was at the Berlin user group presenting the, some brand new things about medical. And yeah, it, it ju we just uh, started out, especially we didn't even have a cloud version at the time. So I was it was also interesting for me now to go back to this. Um, I prepared here a presentation for you. I um, hope you can see the slides. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, it's, it's medical. Um, it's all about um, hassle-free meetings for teams. And it's all about uh, finding the right amount of focus time uh, for uh, technical people, but also for managers for strategic work. Um, so uh, first point today I want to discuss with you is how 2020 changed our lives. Well, okay, let's, let's not be that dramatic and <laughs> still focus on meetings. We all know 2020 has been a very special year a very sad year um, also um, there were many impacts uh, so on our lives uh, and um, yeah i don't want to stress this out and keep things uh, positive despite of uh, many negative impacts including uh, business impacts which also um, yeah, affected medical in some way which we will see and second point is um, yeah how i want to present you what a kind of a sick year for medical this was in the very uh, literal meaning of it um yeah so I, I will give you some sort of retrospective over the last year about medical about the company about the ups and downs um and and while i'm doing that i try also to to kind of yeah um, show it to, to those who are new to medical and to the app and to the philosophy What's, what's, what's it all about now? What, what drives the, the mission and the vision and what the product can do for you? And yeah, we'll include news, news, news at the, at the end, but uh, also um, uh, yeah, during the whole presentation. Okay, let's get started. So before I just wanted to introduce myself, my name is Lukas Gotter. I'm, I'm a background software engineer and since I've attended my first hackathon this year, um, now I also can say I am, I'm also some sort of a hacker, um, certified hacker. <laughs> and yeah, no, I, I, I really am um, from, the, from the Asia software development world, so to say, and I work there in different roles and setups and eventually also became an Atlassian consulting consultant by using their tools and extending them in custom software projects and also apps and um, yeah about uh, one and a half years ago i decided to bring out another app with a company i've, I've started by my own which is mythical where i'm now founder and, and yeah cdo ceo or mainly product manager in that sense um Okay, so first part, um, how 2020 changed our meetings. I prepared some statistics for you to warm up. And here is the sign, Jörg, to trigger the, 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 the poll, please. 
um, because it would be interesting to know from you um, now how did uh, 2020 change uh, your meetings now was would you say it got better if you just look uh, at the meetings or worse or was it the same and furthermore yeah it would be also interesting to hear in what role you are and um, yeah if you are already using confluence to document your meetings So um, the, yeah people are answering already okay cool i continue um and uh yeah so i've, I've uh, here i present you some numbers from a relatively large um, survey and um, the first insight which i kind of discovered during this uh, research was that 2020 meant more meetings but shorter meetings which is not that bad no so uh, in sense of um, yeah maybe also not that surprising because um, at, at, after some time we tend to just to not be able to communicate anymore in a meeting we can at least uh, yeah you know have a side conversation or, or a coffee or yeah we are we are better um, uh, better off um, better entertained maybe um, and uh, the second uh, thing uh, to say about that is that um, yeah the percentage um, increased as, as i already said and um, but um, interesting is that we spent less time in meetings overall so it's 20 percent less time by this uh, survey and um, yeah last but not least is the fact that we invite more people to our meetings and for those of you who know my other talks or, or have been last year you know that uh, one of the key points to have effective meetings is that you keep spectators out of the meeting. Maybe some of you remember uh, remember the stories and analogies about that. And yeah, that's that's something I would say for 2020 we have to keep in mind. So it was less time spent on meetings, but um, how was the quality, right? Um, because if there are too many people on the meeting, that uh, is not really what we want and if 2019 one of my key messages uh, at the atlassian user group in berlin was this um, answer from uh, yeah almost half of the respondents of a, of a survey from doodle and that poorly organized meetings mean that that i don't have to enough time to do the rest of my work i don't have enough time to do focus work right that's why it's so incredibly important to to yeah to have or to organize meetings well and make them effective and for 2020 i would say i would i would focus uh, retrospectively more and probably also for the next year at least half of the year depending on the uh, situation how uh, changes that poorly documenting that meetings mean that i have to attend every meeting or many meeting just to know what's going on so and that is that is um, i think a key reason which i also discovered in uh, the customer interviews i did more on that later and um, that um, yeah medical then the meetings app and um, here you see a screenshot it's it's basically this is one of the key features you know that you can quickly and easily document meetings which are on your calendar document and prepare meetings and um, collaboratively work on, um, on on the on the agenda but also um, have transparency in the results beyond the participant list all this is possible with confluence and enrique from blue labs who i also interviewed you can read that full interview online um, said that medical helped them to put the theory into practice which this was already maybe one of my highlights in the last months to to see kind of that um, yeah that that vision or that mission of medical now to to enable and support organizations to help them uh, yeah establish best practices and good meeting habits and a motivating meeting culture you know through a tool combined with 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 methodology now so that that was already 
uh, something great. So the second part, um, yeah, what a sick here for medical <laughs> in the very little, uh, little meaning. Um, yeah, so last year we were all together in the same room and I really can say that I'm really, really missing it. Uh, if you have a chance, um, I think Jörg sent also a link to the last year's talk um, and it was just amazing. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't even, uh, I don't have here a, a picture of the food because uh, it was all away <laughs> already at the beginning now. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, we all know the, oh, the, the Berlin, yeah, I mean, the sexy one, the party one that uh, now today I'm sitting here in a room and with a laptop and box in front of me, I cannot see you, I cannot hear you, I interact with you. It's, it's pretty awkward and it continues, but yeah, let's get this through <laughs> and hope uh, that next year we will be back in such a nice location with the uh, amazing people and uh, yeah, great uh, exchanges. Um, but that's how it kind of started. Um, yeah, it was really motivating for me to have really amazing feedback, especially from Kreuzwerker Berlin, um, which also had a meeting with me um, then about the app and how yeah they could use it and customers could use it, but also Schütze AG was was so so the main that was the main thing I got out also yeah and I was able to meet a potential customer as well in Berlin. Um, Last year, uh, I also presented at the user group the brand new Outlook edit. It was still in beta and um, yeah, I was confident enough to do a live demo uh, and it uh, yeah, worked pretty well. And uh, yeah, since then it, it has been improved in different uh, situation. And I, today I can also announce a nice success story uh, about like a company using uh, this Outlook edit in Mythical and yeah, to, to, to help them um, really keep their, their customer projects aligned. Um, more on that in a second. Then January came last year and I was flying to, to Arizona actually to start uh, kicking off things off uh, on the Atlassian cloud. Um, I was pretty surprised that I was invited because um, yeah, I mean, I was just really starting out. And uh, for me, it was a big opportunity uh, to go there, to meet uh, all the people. And uh, yeah, also the motivation was high. Um, I wanted initially to go with a, with a friend and colleague of mine, but that didn't work out. So that was kind of a drawback in January, but um, still I was able to, to be there and get things started and get a um, nice people surrounding me from Atlassian, but all the other app vendors, which I know and, and like um, people from Easy Agile and uh, many other. Um, meanwhile, in January, we also had to, we did also bring out the feature for cost, uh, Confluence Server, right? Uh, to, to build your own custom meeting templates. At the time, we had a really promising uh, collaboration with a Berlin company, and it, it was still worth the effort. But um, then came, um, which I believe for me was the first sign of COVID, because um, some some uh, meeting were cancelled, but um, also flights were cancelled. But I, at the end of uh, January, I still had a flight to the Atlassian user group in London where I gave uh, also a talk about uh, medical. And uh, this was pretty much, this was definitely my last flight of the year. I couldn't have believed that. It was a really nice user group, uh, very different from Berlin. Um, so every user group has its own style, but yeah, of course that is the case. Um, but it was also the time where I first saw kind of, um, yeah, companies um, canceling meetings right where i had like demos with the running with them and uh, yeah i got like a little bit nervous because i knew i had a really tough uh, plan for medical to in terms of revenue and yeah then i i, uh, I, I we, we managed in february to bring out uh, the cloud beta and onboard the first customer which also became then a 
um, a promoter, so to say. And uh, we also have a success story on our website uh, from LocalCoin, a Canadian company, really, really cool company. And I still collaborate um, with them very, very, um, yeah, very good and very uh, productive. Um, but yeah, in, 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 in February, it also, no, if, if you look at this, this was also pretty basic. It turned out, okay, we need a kind of a, a, a new plan. And uh, when then uh, Las Vegas, uh, the Atlassian summit was canceled, I knew, okay, I, I lost like one of the main opportunities. I lost a, a big lead uh, to, to a potential customer and I lost kind of this, this um, yeah, marketing opportunity, which can also lead to direct sales and a lot of motivation. That was uh, definitely a, a yeah, drawback. And then all the other COVID related things started. Um, but hey, um, let's not lose hope. And uh, yeah, we started to, uh, we, we continued development. Uh, and um, yeah, actually we acquired, we managed from some of the leads we, we had uh, back from, from Vienna, we, we, we managed to acquire our first data center customer, which was really nice, really motivating. And um, they, they are still, one of our, um, yeah, um, they are still with us and they are still super happy. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's just really motivating. Meanwhile, we also improved the, the cloud app, right? And brought in features for, as you can see here, now to easily navigate between meetings, but also that when you mention people that they match the Confluence users, get the notifications when you change something. So. We are improving that kind of things. And uh, at the same time, I was going running a little bit out of funding for the, <laughs> for the whole uh, project or company. And um, yeah, then I got this email and I was like, wow, this is a game changer for could be one. Um, and I, I was already preparing a slide deck in the, for investors and they thought like, hey, I believe so strongly medical uh, in this mission and in this potential. Um, but then I, I dropped it and I thought like, no, let's, let's do it different. Let's focus on this hackathon and um, yeah, and pilot 100% to cloud from, from, from that on. And um, yeah, that's, that's what we did. And um, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, there was, it was home office time and, um, I also joined uh, Swarmit here in Switzerland as an Atlassian consultant. Um, here you see a picture of Pascal Stiefel and me for the first day. And actually it was the last day we, we uh, then we went to home office for, for three weeks. So it was a little bit weird, as you can see here, like um, yeah, some, some chess <laughs> and some old uh, school uh, games and uh, beers from my colleague. Um, but hey, yeah, looking backward uh, was that, that that month was, yeah, it was special and fun. And yeah, the, I think the second wave of this for me personally feels a little bit tougher in, in general. It's also winter, right? Um, yeah, then for May and June, I, I I, yeah, I managed to do some work for Swarmit, but I was also assembling a team of, of people who can collaborate on uh, medical, right? And yeah, I found some pretty amazing people. And uh, that, that I think, um, I, I know there were, were so many things to improve and do, and that uh, was a really a game changer for the company you now to see like how you can go from um, mainly one plus freelance setup to like more people working really dedicated and even more than full time on such a project. And um, this was amazing. And um, then in July, August, um, we had from this hackathon, we had such a such a huge amount of features which came out, which just um, yeah were, were amazing. And we also got uh, new uh, customers, even though our marketing, uh, must uh, hugely improve. I mean, I'm a product person, but uh, yeah, I think uh, we will will do that. Uh, and um, well, we we are we have still a lot of uh, kind of organic um, um, customers coming coming, which which I yeah, which I really like. So, um, but um, 
yeah, so, so one of the feature, one of the main features was that we brought the whole integrated Confluence calendar where you can attach Outlook, so Microsoft 365, but also Google Calendar. We brought a feature that uh, to automatically create pages or, uh, certain days in advance and link them together with your with your meeting invite. And yeah, we crafted amazing meeting templates. And for those of you who want to know more about the hackathon features, there's also still the video online, which we made for the jury. And I think in that video, I had a look today quickly at it. You really can feel like how intense that uh, that was. And yeah, it was pretty great. And um, yeah, and uh, I think sometimes one nice thing follows uh, the next. And uh, yeah, we were announced to be the winners of that hackathon. Uh, honestly, I, I, yeah, at the end, I was kind of thinking like, wow, we, we've done so much, but uh, like winning it was really, really different. And uh, I knew that that meant, uh, no, that meant some sort of funding for the company. But of course, also for this uh, small and new team, it was amazing. And even though it was kind of uh, Corona times, we managed to do a, a small party and that was also great and have some some time off then. Um, yeah, this, this was definitely the highlight uh, of the year for me. And also brought us a nice uh, customer, new one from uh, South Korea, which they are, have, I think, over 140 users. And um, it's really amazing what when, when you see it in such a, such a context um, with a different language and you now but like how many people you can kind of reach with such a such a yeah it's a it's a yeah it's a yeah, the idea can be very powerful you now to to improve meetings so you can impact a lot of people's work lives right and yeah if that wouldn't have been enough <laughs> during that time atlassian approached me and um, yeah asked if they if i want to be part of atlassian ventures um which um yeah was a it was a process because you know you need all to do to do certain bureaucratic things understand what's going on and so on and it's certainly it's now a different company but i mean yeah, just like seeing now again, kind of my my startup, my uh, mythical startup, um, beside like companies like Slack and, and Envision is just um, hilarious. It's uh, incredible now. So <laughs> that is already something big. And yeah, it also allows uh, now to, to continue to focus on this and um, yeah, provide great customer support and then, um, yeah, even extend on that idea, which we'll see in a second. Um, so October, yeah, we, we went on beside uh, the, the whole huge bureaucratic um, stuff, which is always involved when you kind of transfer and merge companies and need to, to find a setup also how to collaborate with people uh, or not, or find new ones or, um, but beside that, um, I think the main highlight as, as a feature I wanted to present you is a really cool uh, thing, which also allowed one company to use Medical in a, in a much profession, much more professional, and also kind of legal ways, because it's, it's now, as you see here on the right, it's, it's now possible to also kind of um, edit easily the attendee list, show height people and really document their attendance status. Which um, yeah, which is pretty cool, I think. And uh, November, then we we were able to launch on the, our website different customer interviews. Uh, since I I've done the, those interviews and got the permission from the customers, I think this is really cool for everybody to kind of learn how people in general approach the meeting topics, which challenges they had and what they searched for and how they found medical. And um, yeah, I think that is something we can be very proud of. Um, also, um, what I'm very proud of, even though at the moment we are not like focusing on super rapid growth, we are more focusing on a really, really good pro uh, product. And furthermore, also focusing that these customers who, who are there, that they stay. And since uh, March, we've not lost uh, any 
customer. And that, that is, I think, one of the most important signs that um, the product works. Um, yeah, so check it out on Medical.io. You can see the, some of the statements of these uh, nice people, um, like uh, the vice president of engineering from Blue Labs or um, also yeah, the customer success manager from Cloud Heasy for a uh, digital project manager from Krumo Tanya. Um, and they were all uh, really uh, pioneers and innovators. Um, yeah. More news. Um, we will launch by today our beta for a new app. It's not really a new app, but we kind of saw that there is so there's a certain demand to for our, for the meeting templates uh, we already have, but we also want want to introduce new ones, especially for Agile, for Scrum and Kanban. And that's all why I think that the title Agile Meetings Number Two can still be valid, even though it's uh, yeah it's kind of a little bit far away at the moment. But this is. Um, would say the, the big news. So if you are interested in that to, for, for, to use meeting templates in that context and also install the templates quickly, uh, edit them and uh, apply, uh, yeah, apply your, your company guidelines or your company best practices to, to those templates, um, then uh, yeah, write us a support of medical and we'll get access or it will also be available sh soon as a link um, on our website and then uh, published. Uh, and uh, yeah, then the next breaking news for December uh, 2020 is yeah, that Medical got acquired by a sales foam ink company for $7 billion. Oh, actually just joking. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I was pretty surprised by the Slack deal and yeah. I mean, come on, Medical uh, has just been seed funded, but yeah, the really amazing news is that, um, yeah, you can be part of this uh, story maybe. Uh, who knows what can all happen in one year? I mean, I've, I wouldn't have believed uh, the story back one year, which uh, yeah, which brought uh, Medical to, the, to what it is today. And so I want to also to announce that we are hiring full stack developers, uh, chief marketing officer, and also a customer success manager. If you think you have a different role and just want to still want to work with us, then also let me know because, uh, yeah, as you know, at the startup there are many many different things uh, to do. Um, yeah, we are currently fully remote as every company probably still stick to it. But um, you know, I also wanted to mention the ideas of a post-COVID area where people um, physically can meet in Berlin, Zurich, but also my home uh, city, Bolzano, Bozen in, uh, in Italy, on the north of Italy. Um, yeah, team at Medical.io, then uh, yeah, we'll be happy to receive your, your uh, mail. Okay, that's it already. I hope you had some fun, some inspiration, and um, yeah, you. I'm, I'm now looking forward to to discuss with you here, maybe your experiences with meetings. And um, you can collect connect with me on LinkedIn, and we can continue also the discussion there. Um, yes, uh, to all of you, thanks for for joining this. Thanks for watching this if you are on YouTube and. I hope you will have a really great uh, 2021. We all deserve it, I would say. And um, yeah, stay tuned and stay medical. <laughs> Goodbye. Lucas, it was a pleasure to see you, albeit only virtually. Yeah. <laughs> um, and hopefully next time, um, you will have finished the Salesforce integration and that will actually be the view from your terrace <laughs> for our next meeting. <laughs> so, so, Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, thank you again and hope to thank see you, you soon. So uh, yes. maybe in the spring. Um, you are in Berlin now, so you have an office in Berlin. So if you are in the, in the, <laughs> well, in the neighborhood, <laughs> yeah, um, if you are in the neighborhood, let us know. And um, <laughs> if beer is available again for the general public, we will have one. 
as soon as possible. Absolutely. So, Thanks for uh, inviting me. I'm looking forward to this. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and with that, happy holidays. And uh, see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.